In the world of dry pigments and dry paints, the Rolla Mixer is ideal for blending these types of materials together because it doesn't generate any friction or any heat. And oftentimes when you're blending these types of products, they involve some resins that are low melters and uh, they cannot have such heat and such friction introduced into these blends because they'll prematurely set. And one of my favorite applications is in the highway paint world. I bet you didn't know it as you're driving down the highway that those yellow and white lines that you see on the road are actually blends of a material. In fact, I've got a sample of it right here where you've got yellow buff pigment and you've got refractive glass products and uh, resin materials that all make up that blend of a highway paint. And uh, when you um, are driving down the road, I remember I was coming back from a, 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 a trip in Florida and I was trying like, my darndest to get back to the Orlando airport. And I was stuck behind one of those trucks painting yellow lines on the highway. And I thought, come on, let's go. I got to get this airplane. And then I realized that they were actually adding in bags of material that was mixed in the roller mixer. And after that, it was so fascinating to watch. I didn't even care if I missed my plane or not because it was so neat to see this material on application. So with the roller mixer, they'll actually have dedicated lines where they'll have one roller mixer for doing the yellow. They'll have one roller mixer for doing the white uh, highway paint blend. And they'll isolate them and keep them separate. But again, the ability to blend dissimilar particle size and densities and create a homogeneous mix so that each one of those bags is made up of the same composition and the same consistency is critical to this application. Another application we have in the dry powdered paint world is when they're actually manufacturing powdered paints and then spraying them on. Instead of a, a, a liquid paint, they're putting on actually a powdered paint where they charge the metal and then as they apply the paint, it just simply attaches itself to the steel surfaces. And what I found fascinating about this product is that the Rolla Mixer can meet spectrometer levels that they're looking for on their computer when they go to measure for different levels of color and sheen. And in some cases, they're putting in a thimble full of a color additive into a large batch, hundreds of pounds, and that thimble full of an additive has to be thoroughly distributed. And so the Rolla Mixer is ideal because, again, we're mixing these dissimilar particle size and densities with the uh, flaked resins and the powders and putting them into a homogeneous state so that that paint on the finished product is consistent and uniform. And another application where they're doing pigments is in the automotive industry. And one of the leading manufacturers of automotive pigments uses two continental roller mixers where they blend 8,000 pound batches together. And what's really critical is that they have a homogeneous color on a finished application. So when you get in your car and you see the dashboard or the, uh, the rocker panels or the, the uh, door panels, they all have to have the same consistent shade. And uh, that's where uh, the Rolla Mixer is ideal because we can create that consistency so that those pellets and that batch and that lot number of pellets is all the same blend. And uh, we put two Rolla Mixers together uh, for a customer down in Mexico. And uh, they used to uh, have a range where they told us that their batches that they used to make in their paddle mixer had like a 6 or 8% range between batches. And after they installed the Continental Rolla Mixer, their range was just between 1% or 2%, which was a tremendous improvement and improved the quality of their finished product. So next time you step in a car, you look around, you'll see a lot of Continental Rolla Mixer pigments that are mixed into those uh, finished products.